Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby and today we're taking a look at the eTrailer Kayak Carry with tie down kits here on our 2020 Subaru Forester. Now this can be an excellent way of getting your kayaks to wherever you need to go. Now the eTrailer Kayak Carry isn't gonna have any of the top end kind of awesome features. However, it is gonna give you a great baseline to start getting your kayak to wherever you need to go. Gonna get a, a lot of great tie down kits with it. The tie down kit we actually kind of pump out to a host of different products that we actually sell here. A lot of those carriers can really benefit from this tie down kit. So I love that it actually comes with our J style today. Taking a look, you can see we have a pretty good time getting our kayak come on here. One thing I like to point out, might be kind of hard to see from your guys' angle, but we are getting a, a lot of room on the other side of our vehicle for a host of different accessories. That's one thing that's nice about these guys, you know, you are getting a big, huge kayak up there, but it's not gonna take up all of the room. So you can see, as we talked about, we have this nice little tie down kit. One thing that I really like about it, we're getting a nice little holder for that excess strap. A lot of times you have to end up tying it on your own and come unfurled and start flapping all around as we're driving. So now it's that nice that it can go ahead, be nice and collapsed in there. A big thing I like to point out though is this cam buckle system. The cam buckle itself works great, of course. However, we are getting this nice little cover that can go ahead and go and put across it. A, that's gonna be protecting our kayak. We won't have any kind of friction here rubbing against you know, our, our paint or actually like our uh, material that our kayak is made of. And also what's great about it too, that cover acts as a great protection. So when we are taking the strap off, you know, accidents happen, strap might come undone when you're just you know, a little you know, too fast with it. We don't want that dropping down, causing any damage to our vehicle. So nice that we have a nice protective element over our cam buckle system. That way we're not gonna have too much issue. So we do come with bow and stern anchor straps, as we mentioned, and these guys are commonly referred to as dog bones. They do an excellent job of giving you a temporary mounting point. So no longer do we have to have like a little metal hook trying to find anywhere in our frame to actually kind of like go into. All we have to do is simply place this guy on the inside and drop that hood on there. And that's why it's gonna bind itself, give us a great temporary mounting point. Very easy to utilize these guys wherever we need to in here. Of course, make sure we're not putting anything, anything around anything hot underneath the hood. And in the back too, can be easy just to put that underneath all the way and close your hatch. And that way we're good to go. One great thing with it as well, as you guys can see, we do have a way to actually open our hatch here. So when you are setting your kayak, things to keep in mind, wanna make sure that we we have ample room for our kayak to actually extend. So we actually went ahead and made sure we were kind of more set forward on our vehicle. Of course, too, I want, want that kind of distract you in the top here. So you can see, nice little feature here with our kayak, not taking up too much space. Now, of course, that will kind of depend on your kayak at home, but where we position our carriers can be very important. Well, now that we have our bound stern straps off, all we have to do is take off our main straps that are holding our kayak to our carrier. One thing I'd like to point out though is actually exactly how these guys are set up. So as you can see, we have two straps coming from the top of our mount there. So they're both ran through that top mount coming back across our kayak. That way we're getting good pressure pushing our kayak into our carrier. Don't want anything pushing it away. Therefore, all our force is going to the inside here. We have our cam buckle in that sits right here. Our extra strap goes under, comes back around, and we wanna go ahead and throw it underneath underneath our roof bar system. That's gonna give us a lot of great support there. And then back through our carrier and into our cam buckle. So again, as you mentioned, we do have that nice little nylon holder there, keeping those extra straps there. Our cover can simply be slid off and we can go ahead and start releasing our cam buckle system. So, as you can see, that's where our cam buckle is, where our extra strap goes through. And now to take it off, all I have to do is pull this buckle towards me. Well, we've gone ahead and removed our straps. Now all I have to do is take out our kayak. One great thing is we actually utilize our carrier to help us do that. As you can see, we have this nice kind of rounded mount here that's angling up for ourselves. What I like to do, push that underside of the kayak. It's gonna go ahead and start rotating towards us. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of support it here. Now, most of the weight is here. We'll make sure we aren't letting go. As you can see, it's gonna wanna rotate all the way off, but it can be nice to go ahead, get yourself situated underneath it. That way you can get most of the weight and walk it right off. It is gonna be made of a lightweight aluminum. That means it's gonna be A, very easy to throw up on here, but also B, it's gonna hold up very well in the weather. Not gonna have any corrosion that's really gonna give us any too trouble if we do end up leaving this on our vehicle. You are getting some nice little foam pads here and then, kind of that marine foam. So even if they do get wet, I think they'll dry out very quickly for ourselves. That inner pad has just a slight little springboard action to it. Can be nice to reduce a lot of that vibration and kind of that pushback that we're gonna feel from the road. That way our kayak stays nice and secure to our carrier. It does collapse. So you can see we are kind of in our kind of straight up post here for our J style. All I have to do, bring those levers towards me and then go ahead and reduce it. Now why that might be important for ourselves is we might have a little bit of a height issue. If we want to pull this in the garage or maybe any kind of, you know, 
uh, drive throughs you might want to hit on the way or anything like that. So let's go ahead, take a quick look, see what we're working with on our height here. From the roof here to the very top is putting us right at 20 inches height. So definitely a little height to consider. Let's go ahead and see what we're working with if we drop this guy down. So kind of right there in that position or so. Of course, fighting with the teeth there is always fun. But as you guys can see, now we can go ahead, drop this a lot more down from the roof of our vehicle. Gonna be hard to see your guys' side, but at eight inches right there, guys, definitely a lot of space already saved. About a whole foot there, as you can see. Now we can pull this in the garage, or at least go through these drive throughs of course, with no issue. So I do like how quick and easy that is to do. One thing to mention as well, of course, we already kind of talked about how we have that nice little rise on that front mount. I really like utilizing that, especially when you're throwing your kayaks or taking them down, as you guys saw earlier. But that does bring us to our mounting procedure here. So on the underside, we're just gonna have these little wing nuts here that actually hold it in. They do an excellent job of quickly ratcheting up and down, or sorry, I should say spinning, and that way it does stay nice and secured to our bars. Now we do have it on our factory bars here today for our Subaru. However, they have no trouble at all fitting a host of different accessories, whether they be round, square, or especially aero. They do a great job with that. So you're getting that nice kind of flush mount all the way across it. Some things to keep in mind though, I think sometimes, especially if you have bigger bars, this becomes a little harder to acquiesce as these nuts do kind of have a deeper well. So it's just one thing to keep in mind. Yes, it's very easy to do once you get it, but it might just take you 30 seconds or so fumbling with it. But once you do, it is good to go. But that does kind of bring me to my only con with this carrier. Not a lot of great security measures innately in it. The only thing we can really do is take it off and throw it inside our vehicle. And while that's not hard to do with those wing nuts, they do make it easy. It's definitely just one more headache that we have to worry about. Well, as you guys saw, you are getting a lot of great features from the e-trailer kayak carrier. Of course, one of my favorite is that tie-down kit that comes with it innately. We always try to push it on a host of different carriers that we do sell. I do like how it's lightweight and aluminum, meaning we can leave it up here and here all the time. Again, though, if you are worried about security elements, doesn't hurt to take it off and throw it in the car. However, again, can be kind of a bother to do that all the time. One e-trailer, or I'm sorry, one kayak care I might look at is the Yakima JLo. It is gonna offer you a little bit better security clearance. You can get a locking core in that way. You can actually go ahead and leave it on your roof at all times. However, if that's not the biggest of deals, I think the e-trailer kayak care is definitely gonna do you well for years to come. Well, I think that about does it for our look at the e-trailer kayak carrier with tie-down kit here on our 2020 Subaru Forester. I'm Bobby, thank you for watching.